Well, it was a tough start to the fourth quarter. Stocks grappled for direction all session long. Mixed economic data sort of set the tone. Uh, September ISM Purchasing Managers Index actually beat the consensus. The REIT was 51.5. Overall, the report uh, was paced by stronger increases in new orders and production, but employment, while higher, was still in contraction mode. Now, I want to put this report in perspective because the all time high read is 77.5 and came in July of 1950, arguably when America was at its peak dominance in the global economy. On the other hand, U.S. construction spending missed huge. Uh, the drop in construction spending down seven tenths of a percent. Street thought it would be three tenths. Now, the news prompted Goldman Sachs to lower its third quarter GDP estimate to 2.7 percent. The Atlanta Fed looking at 2.2 percent. Remember, they started looking at this thing at 3.6 percent. Now, I should say, though, that there were some positives in the construction number. Offset the weakness in state and federal spending. Uh, so transportation was down, power, highway, street, sewage, water, supply, uh, all those kind of things. Now, all things said, uh, it was a slow market. That sort of echoes the anxiety in the air. Now, it's normally associated with two things. First of all, the jobs report later on on Friday. But also this time around, it's reflective of a presidential election year. I did, however, like the action in Brinks. Uh, it's on a tear. I see a clear shot to 46 bucks. And Netflix looks phenomenal. There's a takeover rumor. If they do fetch a bid, it would be $140 or better.